What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today we have this super easy exotic gear uh, basically farming, but well, it's not really a farm, I can't really say it's a farm because you're limited to doing it three times a day so it's a method in getting easy exotic gear. You can literally do this up to 21 times per week each giving you a chance of getting an exotic armor or weapon piece. But be warned, I believe as soon as the mod you click on, exotic loot drops may be reduced from this method. But before we get into it guys, I have an exclusive Gambit emblem call to give away. To win, make sure you are subscribed to the channel, drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. I will pick a winner and contact them via direct message, so good luck everybody. Also stay tuned until the end of the video to find out about my custom controller giveaway. Also guys, massive credit to Messershon for bringing this to my attention. A great Destiny 2 YouTuber, definitely worth your time checking out. His channel can be found linked within the video description. Okay, now as you know, heroic adventures are a thing you can pick up from certain planets and do them as you please, once a day across all your characters. But it seems people... When the heroic adventures you are doing are on the week's Flashpoint planet, there is a massive increase in exotics dropping. This week's Flashpoint is Mars, and the heroic adventure is the psionic potential. So start it up, which is a relatively short adventure, complete it and check your inventory. Now for some reason, like the legendaries, these exotics are auto decrypted into your inventory, so check your inventory to see if you have an exotic after you do this. Now I did it three times a day and got two exotics, nothing on my hunter, except the Icarus sniper rifle, which is strange. But then I got the Prospector on my Titan and the Sanguine Alchemies on my Warlock. The exotic arm piece is doing the drop with their Forsaken Rose, which is amazing too. And it leads me to believe these heroic adventures and flashpoint planets, when the Forsaken drops, will indeed drop new Forsaken exotics as well. But we will see, that isn't confirmed. Now the role I got in my Warlock's chest piece are pretty damn cool, check it out. Unflinching bolt aim, unflinching linear fusion aim, and unflinching kinetic aim with hand cannon reserves and SMG reserves. Just a little taste of how exotic armor pieces will roll when Forsaken drops. Pretty damn epic. Now the crazy thing is here, I actually got this Warlock chest piece the other day doing this, not even realizing this was even a thing. I just thought I was lucky, but hey ho, I do record everything. So yeah guys, use this while it works for sure. Now I will call this a farm like I said at the start of the video, but in reality it isn't. You can only do it three times a day because once you've done it on your character it disappears until reset the next day. But even so, it's still a great method in getting exotics up to 21 a week. Now if you actually get 21 a week you are damn lucky, but I wouldn't be surprised there are some lucky bastards out there for sure. But yeah. It is as simple as that guys, go to the Flashpoint planet, this week it's Mars, complete the heroic adventure and hopefully you'll get an exotic weapon or armor piece. So get doing it people, get trying this method and good luck in doing so, but on that note, I am out. But before we do that, every single month guys, I give away a fully customizable controller for either Xbox or Playstation, sent anywhere in the world. To be with a chance of winning it, simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and follow the Gleam link at the top of the video description, it's fast, simple and legit guys. But on that note, I am out, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.